Malta Massey, bringing you the latest happenings in dancehall and reggae music. Welcome, it's Malta Massey, and here are the stories making the cut for today. Andrew Holness confronts Agriculture Minister after party on No Movement Day. New movie alert! Stay tuned for the stories in detail, and remember to follow me on Instagram at Malta underscore Massey. Yeah. You know you're being watched right now and um, by the FBI. And you know, you're my friends and everything, but I have to report everything that goes down here. And this is my job on the line. I can't risk it. Sorry. Thanks. And there's also a gentleman here to see you. Okay, you send him in. All right. Who are you? I am the emperor. What? I want King dead. I want Rikita dead. I want the D2. You have some nerve walking in this office. I should have a bullet put in your head as you walk out. No, 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 no. <laughs> New movie alert massive. This one is called Mile Uprising. The movie will be coming in 2022, starring Black Jesus, Kylie Rose Fashion, and many more talent from Philadelphia. Big up TV boss. Ensure that you guys join the Facebook Get a Pot Empire group. Follow the director on Instagram at Andre Porter7. Did you guys see the viral video with elected members of the jail? P party, namely for Lloyd Green, Dave Powell, who is responsible for landfills at the NSWMA, and the Mona Division Councillor Andrew Bellamy. In case you guys haven't seen the video, here it is. <laughs> After the video made the rounds on social media, Jamaicans were of course disgruntled talking about the double standards and the fact that some people can move on no movement day, don't follow protocols on no movement day and it seems as though it's accepted. However, before I go any further on that topic. There was a press conference being held with the health minister Christopher Tufton and he was asked by the Gleaner when will the government explicitly restrict gathering for entertainment activities in hotels. Check out his response. Damien Mitchell from the Gleaner is asking at what point will the government explicitly restrict gathering from, for entertainment activities in hotels. At what point will the government explicitly restrict gathering for entertainment activities in hotels? Well, you're making some assumptions, and I, you know, you, you normally do that, <laughs> Damien. You, you ask questions based on assumptions that um, I can't say that I, uh, I, I share um, in its totality anyway. Uh, the truth is that the hotel space is guided by protocols. Um, and those protocols are in effect and those protocols address issues around sanitation you know you know mask wearing sanitizing testing the hotels spend a lot of money on testing to ensure that they control the virus or at least track or provide appropriate surveillance firm level surveillance around the virus they also do the same in terms of the resilient corridor which um, you know, you'd have seen some data put out by them, spoken by the Minister of Tourism on. And so if, if the question is suggesting that they are not doing enough, then I would take some issue with that in that we know, and it is subject to inspection, and we do inspections, 
that they do have a protocol that they comply with. Um, and further to that, I know that they are now embarking on a major vaccination program to vaccinate their employees, their families, and hopefully the communities around them. So, um, you know, that's my response. I think they're, they're, they're trying to do what they can. Always room for improvement, and we will continue to work with them to further improve as the need arises. So after Christopher Tufton's video was released, here comes the viral video with Floyd Green and the other members of the JLP party. They were at a hotel and clearly you guys can see that no protocols were being followed. After that viral video massive, Andrew Holness was very livid, very angry. The prime minister requested a meeting with the agricultural minister to confront him about what happened in the viral video the Prime Minister posted on his Instagram a press statement for immediate release statement by Prime Minister Andrew Holness this morning I met with Minister Floyd Green and discussed matters relating to a video circulating on social media at the end of the meeting it was agreed that Minister Green would not continue in the cabinet however it was discussed that there may be other areas in which his expertise could be utilized so now I'm going to read a statement from Floyd Green, MP. In 2011, I decided to get involved in representational politics because of a desire to do my part in creating a better Jamaica. It has been a very challenging journey, but I have been extremely blessed to have served as president of Generation 2000 and to be elected on two occasions to represent the people of Southwest St. Elizabeth. I have also been given the honor and privilege to serve as state minister with responsibility for youth state minister with the responsibility for industry and commerce and minister of agriculture and fisheries at every step of the way i have worked hard i believe i have conducted myself with dignity honesty and discipline i have remained transparent above the free of tribal politics and have treated every single person i come across with respect however today i have disappointed so many my family including my son my prime minister and most importantly the people of jamaica who i have sworn to serve no matter how briefly and regardless of the circumstances i should never have participated in any engagement that could indicate a lack of appreciation of the difficult and serious realities that now face the entire country my actions have demonstrated a lack of sensitivity for the difficult realities that all of us are facing currently it was wrong i accept Except that this was an error in judgment and that it sends the wrong signal especially in light of the government's drive to reduce the spread of COVID-19. For this I am really and truly very sorry. Therefore I met this morning with Prime Minister the Most Honorable Andrew Holness ONPC MP and indicated that I will withdraw from the cabinet. I will work hard to regain the trust and regard of the Jamaican people but I remain 100 percent committed to serve the people of southwest saint elizabeth and i can and will promise that this lapse in judgment will not reoccur again i apologize promise to in the future do right by the jamaican people mona division councillor andrew belnami has resigned from the board of the southeast regional health authority he has also resigned as chairman of all committees at the kingston and saint andrew municipal corporation Bell Nami and resigned agriculture minister Floyd Green were among a group of maskless people at a hotel toasting to no movement day. So Massive, what are your thoughts? Do you guys agree with the Prime Minister's decision to let them resign? Or do you guys think that the Prime Minister should have taken it a step further by charging them, let them pay for breaking the DRMA Act? just like any typical citizen in Jamaica. If they are caught breaching this act, they would have to pay up some money. They would get charged, thrown in the jail cell, and the list goes on. When the thing say, Floyd and his companions should face the same punishment. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. So that's it for today. Massive Mart and a big up on a nice clean self. Enough love, enough respect. Blessings upon blessings upon blessings. Positive vibrations going out to the massive. I'm out of massive. Magan. Mauta Massey. Mauta Massey. Covering the latest in Jamaican music.
and culture. Like, share, comment and subscribe now. now.